All right, guys, it's time for some absolutely insane match play out of the Sugar Rush Finals, the Grand Finals for Sugar Rush. We have on the Red Lions, Overclock, 16099A, and Jinx, 9039J on the Blue Alliance. On the Treats Division, we have Snacky Cakes, 16610A, and 62880A. Title, I think? Let's just get this started. These matches are, are going to be intense, right? As I'm saying, actually, they're, they're currently counting up Finals 3 as I am recording. So I'll be getting this one out just in time for... <laughs> but anyways, um, these autos look quite amazing. And one thing that I do want everyone to focus on is Snacky Cakes. They have this they have this Discord blocker. This Discord blocker tech. And and that's new tech. That's new tech that, that we have to consider, right? Because right off the bat, the, the Red Alliance have to protect, hey... We low-key can't really use our wings when we're around, you know, snacky. Because they might they have that these score tech. But honestly, I don't know. I don't know if it's that useful, right? Let let let's see how how useful it is in these in these finals matches. First off, of course, we're gonna watch these three finals matches. Um I think we're just gonna commentate over them. I don't think there's really a need to to do a deep dive um yet. Maybe we'll do one later today or something like that. Anyways, going going pretty crazy here is uh, is both alliances trying to doing a good job D score and keeping those points low? Everyone trying to do a whole lot of a lot of match settings off, off the start, but red coming off with a with a slight advantage on on those on those middle and and the far goal here, but blue has the auto bonus, right? So both of them still very very close match here. We're gonna see all four robots over at that top corner uh, playing. A lot of just a lot of aggressive defense on each other, right? Kind of completely shutting down any any work of uh, <clears throat> any chance of any any scoring being done. Someone's chain falls off. Actually, two teams fall, chains falls off there. One in the top right corner and one towards the middle. Oh, three three chains falls off. Actually, everyone's chains falling off. What is going on in this match here? So much chaotic defense here. Everyone's chain is is snapping. Um. Anyways, it doesn't look like snacky cakes. Uh, they're they're anti D score, the anti wing mac has really come come to fruition here much. That has not been really that utilized in this match, especially this match has been a largely largely dominated by by a lot of red defense throughout the whole match. And you can see here that that basically there are basically no blocks scored at all. And we're gonna see a a double park attempt from red. Maybe they got it and then a single park from from blue. Right. Um anyways that is going to be match one. And moving on to match two, we're going to see the Treats Division lead. So Blue actually actually is going to be able to take that match, which is quite surprising. So pretty crazy match there as the first one. All right. Let's go to the second match. It's kind of funny because as I'm recording this, um, we don't even know who the excellence winner is yet. <clears throat> Anyways. Match two, we're going to see, once again, Auto is, is played very, very cleanly by, by the Blue Alliance here. Although, although Blue doesn't seem to really, you know, advance these blocks with, with their wing, right? So, so Red's actually going to be able to take Auto, I think, again with uh, with with getting both both areas tied. Maybe not. Maybe up here is, is actually Blue. I think up here is actually Blue Possession, which means Red does not take, doesn't take Auto. No, they, they they take it either way because of the of the sensor, anyways. Okay, so, so Red's gonna take auto here in this match, right? So right away, they they got that the auto bonus, right? Both teams going straight straight to D scoring, like we see in any any match, and it it just doesn't look like Snacky Cakes is really ever going to be able to to effectively use that use that wing blocker. It might just be just be there for show right kind of like kind of like a blo blocker in uh in over under where, where where people know you have it so so they're kind of like more more cautious when they're going for that for that d score or you know in, in over unders case going for those match loads and and that's uh that's interesting that's an interesting part of the strategy right because because here oh there we go now they're using it that's that, that's very that's very smart that the, uh, that they have a thing that just goes over so then they can they can hit a very clean block. However, it's not really going to work super well for them anyways because because uh 
Jinx is still going to be able to get a pretty pretty good D score out of here and control that uh, that that close close long goal, right? So we're gonna we're gonna see Snacky not really be able to to use that that anti wing mech to to its full potential possibly, or maybe this is about as much as 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 it can do as. Uh, as the two teams up top kind of brawl it out, and Blue takes a lead on the on the top goal there, and and the center, right? This is looking very very bad for for Red at, at this point, as as uh, Blue has has two of the of the three three goals in their in their um with them up on on two of the three goals as Red quickly sneaks in a, a huge score that's overclock scoring the top, and then a a Park as well at Red with them with them cleaning this match out towards the end. That's very impressive. All right, let's move on to match three. Yeah, I think the scores just came out for match three, which is really funny. Um, it is going to be Snacky, uh, where the Blue Alliance winning winning match one, and then and then we're going to see Red Alliance winning match two and three. Right, so they made a pretty huge comeback here, uh, Overclock and Jinx Alliance. <coughs> I think a a pretty ooh that auto kind of messes up there. A pretty big thing with uh with the blue or the, especially the the snacky auto is that they don't really advance their their blocks right, which is kind of a kind of a problem when 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 you play against teams who use the wing to their advantage here, where they're able to advance those blocks into the control zone, and and either make you tie that bonus or tie the control bonus, or or they can just take it away right, which is what they did here. Red Alliance taking that bonus here, auto bonus, and and it's going to be a a pretty pretty clean start for Red once again. They're going to be able to hit a pretty big D score on both the blue blue teams here, and and this is going to put Blue in a pretty pretty rough spot. They got to hit these match loads while being under heavy heavy defense. So let's see how they play this here. Santa Cake is going up to the top there, doing a pretty pretty quick four four blocks going into that the alleyway hitting all four in and this is huge where they are able to kind of push these blocks back into the control zone yeah it's kind of a that's a a maneuver that i think all drivers really should be learning how to do this this season as as blue hits another huge d score on the bottom blue kind of gets back into the play here and also even controlling that center goal now or at least fighting for control of that center goal huge plays out of the blue alliance as i'm talking red alliance is another big c score on the top so we still could go to anyone here with all four bots to the top now maybe one of them should come down well, as i say that both blue lenses comes down to try to try to make some make something happen down here on the bottom goal and will they doesn't look like they will looks like snacky cakes is more content to just fill up the 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 middle control bonus or get that middle goal under under blue and and this this is this is fine for for blue right because because although they're down on that bonus, as long as they, if they can get two, two of those goals under under their control, and they can hit a, hit a pretty good park, then they can still win this, right? But oh, and a huge D score out of uh, out of blue again on the bottom, which is massive because now that puts that puts red way down, right? And and if they can hold this pin, honestly, they should just they they, they need to just hold this pin, right? Um, or anyways, I, I don't know. They should have, they should have either held that pin, or had it had snacking over the park, because because this is what what lost them the game right here, is not going for that park, because as a uh, as red got, got that park they won the game. Anyways, these are three very highly high level finals, and I will I will be making a analysis video on this too.